Hello, my name is Steve Jans and welcome to my pre-class video on how to calculate three challenging present value calculations and setting up an effective interest schedule when the payment occurs at the beginning of the year. Now the purpose overall of this video is to help you in class. When you come to class and you're taking a look and you're learning about bonds, learning about leases, learning how to do these calculations ahead of time will really help you in class and it will make that classroom experience much more valuable to you. Hopefully even fun. Alright, let's get started on the first calculation. Our first calculation, this is the information that we have and we need to understand the question before we basically work on our calculator. First, it's N is 6 years. Our yield, our market rate is 6%. Our stated rate is 5% and our face value of the bond is 8 million. Now what does all this mean? It means that the yield 6% market rate is what this bond is achieving in the market. And this is the number we're going to use on our calculator when calculating our present value. Before we can do that, we need to calculate the payment. The payment that we're going to make every year. Well this is the 5% times the $8 million face value. So when you multiply those two, that is $400,000. We now have our information to calculate our present value. I'm going to use a BA2 plus Texas Instrument Calculator to calculate my present value. Couple things. You want to make sure your calculator is clear, that nothing is in there from previous calculations. So I like to hit the second button, basically it's that top yellow button, and I like to hit the FV clear button, which says clear TBM. And I like to just hit that a couple times, make sure my calculator is clear. I also want to make sure I don't have BGN on the top of my numbers, my decimals, because I want to make sure that this calculation occurs so it's an end of the period type of calculation. And then now I simply just enter in the information. So 6N, 6IY, 400,000 payment, 8 million future value, because we're calculating the present value. So 8 million future value, and then I hit compute present value, and I get my value. Now it shows up as a negative, just change it to a positive, you can hit the plus minus number, and you'll get 7 million 606 614. And that's how you basically calculate our first value. Now our second value here, this one is a pretty straightforward calculation, but again, I want to make sure you know how to do this. Because a lot of times we are given the payment number and when it comes to calculating it, we forget how to calculate it. So let's just make sure we've got this one. So again, making sure my calculator is clean. So I hit second FV, or also known as second CLR TVM. And then I hit and I put in the data. So five and beginning of period is basically $100,000. So that'll be $100,000 PV. I'm gonna have seven IY, and then I'm gonna hit compute payment. And that will give you my payment number of $24,389. So we're doing great. Let's move on to the last calculation here. Our last calculation, what I want to do is I want to calculate my beginning of period amount. So that present value again. Now the interesting thing about this calculation is that this payment occurs at the beginning of the year. We have to make sure we change our calculator so that it has that BGN over our decimals. So again, how do we do that? So hit second function and then hit the payment button, which above it in the yellow says BGN. Then hit the second function again and hit set. And then what you'll notice, if you take a look right at the top of your decimals, is you'll have BGN set up there. And once you have that set up, you can then do this calculation. 
So let's make sure we know how to do that. So let's enter in our data. 4N, 25,000 payment, 6IY, compute, present value. And again, it shows up as a negative number. Just hit the plus minus, change it to a plus number, 91,825 and 30 cents. Now we've worked through three different types of present value calculations. The last thing I want to do is I want to show you how to create an effective interest schedule. This is one of the more challenging effective interest schedules with this last calculation because the payment occurs at the beginning. So over the last decade plus, I've come up with this effective interest schedule method that I really like because it puts all the information on one row. And I really find that students like this method really a lot and it helps them understand it. So here's our number here, 91,825. And I'm just going to take away the zeros for now just to make this a little simpler. And this is our first year. A payment occurs right at the beginning. So BOP stands for beginning of period. Payment then, and then what is the amount after the first payment? Well, that is 66825 Now, this is the amount we're going to basically charge interest on at 6%. So 66825 times 6% 6 gives us a value equal to $4,009. Add that together with the 66,825, and your end of period amount will be 70,834, I believe. And then you would carry on with year two, year three, year four, and eventually this would come down to zero. So hopefully this pre-class video has helped you with the present value calculations and improved your skills, helped you set up one of the more challenging effective interest scheduled methods, and overall makes your class a great experience. Thank you.